All right, guys, let's get straight to business. The first thing you want to do is get your text tool on the left side of your screen and left click anywhere on your canvas. Then what you want to do is type out each letter individually like this. Right now, it looks like SpaghettiOs, but don't worry. We're going to fix that. Let's just start out with this T here. Let's go ahead and change the font. I'm going to recommend either Anton or Indigo. It's up to you. Both are great choices, but let's see what I want to do. I think I might go with I might go with Anton, actually. Because that's what I went for on the thumbnail. So, all right, so go ahead and do that for every single letter. Go ahead and just double click on them to select them and then choose the font up here and hit that check mark. Trust me, this will all make sense in a second. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just drag these letters like this. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab on this T right here. Okay, what you want to do is hit Control, Alt, and T to free transform it. Go ahead and grab one of the boxes and just scale it up for now. Okay, we're going to scale this one up and maybe rotate it just, just a little bit like this, okay? Now, do the same for the E, but rotate it a little bit differently or just leave it as is. Maybe a little rotation to the right. And then for the X, do the same thing, except I'm just going to leave this one. I might rotate, nah, I'll leave it like this. And then get the other T and do the same thing like this now what you want to do is hit control and select each one of these letters over here and right click on it and convert it to a smart object now go ahead and drag it to the center of your canvas until it snaps like this now go to google and type in golden texture or whatever texture you want to use right so i have one personally that i'm going to use but if you want to use one of these Find the one you want and drag it to your photo B. Now, before we do anything with this, go ahead and hide it for now. Double click on your T layer, which is your text layer. Let's go ahead and name that actually. Double click on it, go to 3D, and we're gonna rotate it to where it's off to the right a little bit like this, okay? Go ahead and just change the color to black. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so with your golden layer right here, Go ahead and drag it above all the text until it's covering all of it. Right click on it and click on clipping mask. Now double click on your text layer and change the 3D color to match this. So just hold left click and drag until it's a good color that you want. I like this personally. Click OK and click OK. Now hold control and click on both of these layers and right click and convert it to a smart object once again. So now it's one whole layer. Double click on it again. This time go to inner glow. Change the blend mode to color dodge, the color to white, opacity about 90% and size about 23. Just remember guys, you don't have to copy these settings completely. You can alter them however you like. There's no right way to do it. Just do what looks good to you. Like personally, this looks good, but I could adjust some things and make it look different, but still good. So next up, I'm going to add a drop shadow. So check that box. I'm going to choose a similar angle to the 3D and make sure the opacity's turned down a little bit. You just wanna add some depth to it. I think this looks pretty good so far. Now for the gold texture, I would have probably done like the dark sides on the bottom and then it gets lighter. So that's my mistake. Now let's say you wanna change the color of this. It's actually super easy. There's two ways you can do this. Either go down here and click hue and saturation and adjust the hue, but it will change everything below it unless you right click and uh, do a clipping mask but another way you could do it is you can go up to image adjustments hue and saturation and adjust only this layer here and change the color of it you can also do colorize it'll just change the color but i personally like just this way i think this is the closest method to make it look like cinema 4d i mean you see these logos and banners all the time with super cool 3d text i guarantee you they're using cinema 4d for it but you could do it right here in photo p and make it look just as good i mean look at this this looks like some really good text. I added a background to it just to make it look a little bit better and here you can see the final product. I think it looks amazing and it was super easy to make. Now for the homework of this video, I'd like you guys to experiment with different kinds of texture. You know, maybe don't use the golden texture but use stripes or grungy textures. Just try some other texture. Pretty soon I'm going to be releasing more courses on my website. I just released the viral thumbnail course and the course I show you exactly how to make viral thumbnails. 
And if you guys want to see more courses like that, go to my website and scroll down until you find it. Before you go, don't forget to check out my website for tons of bonus content like my exclusive courses, graphics packs, and socials like my Discord server. If you want to level up your designs even faster, consider joining the Cambit Creates channel membership. You'll get access to a folder packed with hundreds of effects, copyright free music, and more to take your content to the next level. Hit that join button or check the link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep creating.